moving forward to the last participant for the day ca vidyavati so over to you ma'am uh, poonam madam you can stop sharing your yes. screen sure vidyavati madam can do it so over to you madam okay uh, good evening everyone today we are going to see uh, data analytics tools and uh, these tools which I'm going to show you, just I'm going to give you the small PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to use AI in Excel, and uh, it is specially designed for the bank audit analysis. And I'm going to use the two tools, that is quadratic AI and the chart GPT. So uh, this is my problem statement from my client, always a total loan balance data dump, and which is very vast, and uh, it has a lot of records. So, uh, and it also has the sensitive information. So what is my task? So my first foremost task is I have to protect my data, sensitive data. And then I had to ensure that further bank audit uh, data analysis with uh, audit sampling. And I'm going to check the compliance checks with the IRAC norms also. We are going to do this uh, demonstration today. Uh, these are some steps which we are going to follow that I'm going to explain. First of all, we'll do the data masking. I'm going to use here the chart GPT, simple formula-based chart GPT to protect my data. Then second, we are going to perform, we are going to use the quadratic AI here to filter and do the further data analysis for the same data, which I'm going to import in that quadratic AI. Then we are going to do the compliance check with the IRAC norms. So let's do it then. So first of all, I use the chart GPT and this is the simple prompt I have given that give me a simple way to mask my three columns. That is that I have given above the three columns. That is the customer name, customer uh, number, account number and the customer name. Three important columns which I asked to uh, mask and this formula has been generated by the chart GPT. I simply copied and pasted that formula in my Excel uh, columns. So I'm getting marks so that I can share with the quadratic AI. Now let's move towards the quadratic AI tool or the AI that is going to help us in a many ways. So due to save our time to import the file into my uh, quadratic AI, I already imported that file. This is my file and on which I'm going to do the further analysis. First and foremost thing, I want to do the audit. This is my total loan balance file, which is uh, I mean, the sanctions are available till the date, that is 1819 date. So I'm going to do the current year, that is the financial year 1819. That financial analysis I have to do. First of all, I'm going to ask the simple prompt that is going to cover, just I want financial year 1819 data. I Means it's a simple filter that we are going to do it. So I just, this is my prompt, which I have given all the columns and simple task is to financial year 18, 19 ka data, you have to filter. So yeah. it's taking some time, but it is giving me very accurate results. I have checked it with my original work also. So again, it is generating along with the Python code. So I don't know any programming language, but quadratic AI is doing for everything for me. So I think it's finding some errors. Again, it has fixed itself. And this is the data which I have received. You can see the sanction date, which is available in the fiscal year. That is the financial year 1819. This is filtering the first data. Now the second step, which we are going to perform in the same data, which we have done now, so next prompt, which we are going to use, actually we are going to do the audit sampling. And audit sampling techniques are many out there, but I would like to use statified random sampling technique to take my audit sample and to start my audit. So I'm using this prompt, which is available with lot of information and it is a descriptive one, which I did permutation and combination to perform that. So I perform again and again, and I got this prompt. You can read this. I am asking to the certified random sampling for the financial year 1819 and 
the I want a sample size of 40 records with that. I want to stratify with the loan balance amount. So low, uh, if that balance is had, I'm going to select the 10%, then medium level, I'm going to select the 40%, and the last, that is the higher level that I'm going to select the 60%. When I'm giving this simple prompt, my Python 2 is created, and here I'm having, having the total sample audit sample data which I can directly use for the further analysis or further audit procedures. So this is again having the 40 data. You can see that you can see in below you're getting all the counts. It's again the generating here, the processing going on. So it is generating all the 40 records. I did it for the first, second, third, fourth. Means every time I've generated, I check whether it is giving accurately 40 records he there are hai, yeah, it is giving another thing or jahan pe stratified random sampling ho raha hai. Range diya, you can see that here, statums are given here. According to that, the count numbers are selected. Yes, now I got here, the information has been given by the quadratic AI. You got the total sample size of 40 records and distribution. Everything is shared here. Yes. Now, after doing this simple stratified audit, obviously, I can save this as an audit documentation because this is a very important one. Now, after that, I did the further analysis. What I did, I just shared uh, recent IRAC norms, that uh, which, which is issued by our RBI. So RBI ने जो R uh, norms दिए हैं. I just uploaded that file. Okay. That is the PDF file which is I mean I directly downloaded from the RBI site, and I given the task or I I just perform the task or uh, prompt that I want to do the analysis with this IRAC means I want to check whether IREC norms are performed with this data or not, which is shared by my client. I'm giving this prompt. Again, this is a descriptive prompt, which I am using. So I want the thorough analysis or whose analysis may, what should I include? Everything I have given here, the things. So I have first uploaded IREC norms or a PDF file. And with that, I'm giving this prompt. So I'm performing this IREC provisions compliance with overall data. It's not only the financial year 18, 19, because I have to check all the data set here. It's again generating. Do I have time? Yes, it's going to take some time. From your last two minutes my last two minutes okay sir so shall i uh show you the result which is generated through this so that it will help me to go further it is generating and it is going to take time yes sir Okay, fine. I will shift to my dashboard now. Here I have already performed all these prompts and all these results are already given by my uh, automatic AI, which I would like to share with you because it is going to take the time because uh, I like norm the PDF, it has a lot of pages. It is giving a very fantastic information in front of me. You can see here that I have performed. See the asset classification norms that has been extracted from the PDF file, which is available here. And according to that, they, they have given me the detail that the total accounts 1 to 0, 9. There are uh, 270 accounts, uh, which are out of that. What are the irregular amount, irregular accounts or OD accounts? Every detail has been given to me in front of me with the Python code. So, this is what given by quadratic AI with a further analysis. Even I can continue with that, but uh, it is taking a lot of time.
बट आई हैव ऑलरेडी डेड इट एंड ऑडिट सैम्पलिंग के लिए तो इट्स इट्स गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी वेरी हेल्पफुल टू ऑल ऑफ अस एंड यस दिस दिस इज गोइंग टू गिव यू डेटा एनालिसिस डायरेक्टली सो दैट यू कैन टेक द प्रॉपर डिसीजंस means the total number of accounts on which i am going to focus for the further analysis and it is giving you some questions there itself ki shall i do the further processing or shall i do the process uh, further processing for uh, this data so again it is generated this is in front of you so total 1209 accounts uh, out of that how much are even some time up total ord amounts all these things has been demonstrated by the border tpi that's it and yes obviously this is going to help us while doing the audit and yes it is going to increase our speed with accuracy and efficiency thank you so much for listening me and please ask your questions i'm open to it thank you madam uh someone has asked uh, how is this quadratic ai is different from chat gpt yeah i used a chat gpt also for the same thing but it has taken lot of uh, i think the accuracy issues are there because when i asked the only 40 sample size it was giving me 42 45 so i did 3 to 4 times i did the chat gpt i used it that time then i again go to the uh, quadratic ai वहां पे जो एक्यूरेसी मिला है इट इज कंपेरेटिवली वेरी हाई और ऑब्वियसली विद द आयरेक्ट नॉर्म्स के साथ जो मुझे मिला है और इन जस्ट सिंपल वे इट इज गिविंग यू और अगेन एंड अगेन दैट कॉडेड के आई इज आस्किंग डू यू वांट टू डू द फर्दर एनालिसिस यस दैट इज गोइंग टू हेल्प अस लॉट ओके थैंक यू मैडम आई डोंट थिंक देयर आर न्यू क्वेश्चंस फॉर दैट Okay, and I think that is a free tool, or is it a paid tool for that? Yeah, it's a free free tool up to twenty prompts. Okay, okay. Up to twenty prompts, uh, it will ask you to move to the next month. You can perform for the next month. Okay.